Hello, it's Ash and welcome back to my channel. Now this is gonna be a warm up and I've decided to do it in the studio today because I really wanna focus on making sure the feet from the foundations are nice and active and ready to go for our run. So let's make a start with a, with a good connection, pushing the big toes into the floor. And then what we're gonna do is warming up the big toes, the arches of the feet and the lower leg muscles, the calves and the shins. We're gonna elevate the heels as high up as we can into the calf raise. So we're just gonna complete, complete. We're just gonna continue to do this. So elevating the heels, smoothly bringing them back down, okay? Nice and relaxed through the jaw and the shoulders. And making sure we're setting the breathing rhythm now as we're starting to gradually warm the body up and as we go through, we'll pick the heart rate up a little bit. Really important that we set our breathing rhythm so that when we start to run, we feel a lot more relaxed and we feel like we can get into the rhythm of our run much easier. Well done, okay, and then just start to walk it out, pedal it out. Just swing those arms a little bit, loosen those shoulders a little bit. Again, just getting the blood pumping a little bit quicker around the body, getting muscles and joints a little bit warmer. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna step the left foot forwards and the right foot back, and then we're gonna go hands to the hips, the back heel's lifted, and we're gonna straighten that left knee. And then we're gonna slowly lunge down by bending the left knee. That should feel like it's stretching the top of the right thigh going up into the hip flexors at the front. So you come up and then go down nice and smoothly and slowly. Think about pushing that right heel down in towards the floor. It won't touch the floor. But we're coming up. So bend the knee and then straighten the knee. Relax the shoulders. So this is hip extension on the right side. And hip extension is absolutely essential as we come through what's known as toe off position, as you toe effectively like pushing into the floor or leaving the floor. The more hip extension we can get, the more the bigger our stride will then be. So if we can warm it up and get it a little bit elastic, we're gonna get use the natural elasticity of the body to help our stride. Okay, then from here we're gonna step that right foot up a little bit and we're just gonna do a few knee drives. So you step the knee, drive the knee up, step it back, drive the knee up. Keep breathing as we do that. So really warming up into those hip flexors. But also the standing balance muscles on the left leg. Use your arms however they feel naturally like they want to do it. Let's do one more. I'm gonna just have a little bit of a march out, pad, pedal, pedal, march on the spot, straight those arms, how are you feeling? So you might notice the right side feels nice and awake and alert. Let's do the same to the left, so step the right foot forwards, left foot back, again, straighten this right leg, and then as you bend the right knee, lunge the hips down, push the left heel to the floor. So you straighten the right knee, bend the right knee. Keep the head up towards the sky. Ooh. Try and relax the jaw and the shoulders and breathe. So really pushing the toes into the floor as well, particularly on that back foot so we can get a good stretch on the big toe and the toes are ready to work. Okay, and then step that left foot up a little step. Drive the left knee up and then step the left foot back. Drive the knee, step the foot back. So getting your balance working, all of those stabilizing muscles in that right leg from the toe all the way through up into the bum, the glute muscles. What is your purpose for running today? So why are you running? Remind yourself of that. And it gives your run extra value. So mine is I need, I want to get outside. I want to have a break from work. I want to have a bit of me time. I want to see some greenery. What's yours? Okay, and then just, again, have a little bit of a march out now. I'm going to work into those hips a little bit more. So we're going to drive the right knee up 
As we drive the right knee up, keep it nice and high and open it up nice and wide. Work into the hips and the groin, left side, alternate. A few steps in the middle. Keep your posture nice and tall. Smile. Let your body waking up, it's hot in here today, so I'm already getting a little bit of a sweat on. So I'm really focusing on my breathing. In and out through the nose if you can, as your heart rate starts to pick up. So a little bit quicker if you can now, a couple of little quick steps in between, knee up, but still control, smooth controlled. So really working, opening up those hips and your groin. Okay, let's get the hamstrings warm. So back onto a little bit of a march. Dynamic, dynamically warming up those hamstrings. So we're gonna start with a little bit of a heel kick to the hips. So you have to pull your heel into your hip with your hamstring muscles at the back of the thigh. So work them up a little bit more. Again, we're going at about a medium pace now. So we're just gradually going into the medium pace zone. So we've started off a little bit lighter, then into a medium pace zone, and then we're gonna go up into a, a run ready pace. Keep breathing in and out through the nose. Okay, we're just gonna add a little bit more length into this now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing the left leg, try and touch towards the toes. You don't have to touch the toes and we're alternating left and right. Make sure it's smooth and controlled so it's not out of control. Relax the shoulders. Again, smile. Again, try and keep it about medium pace. So your medium pace, not my medium pace. So if it's feeling like it's going into too quick, you slow it down a little bit. Okay, and then again, marching it out. Have a little pedal. Okay, and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stand onto the left foot and we're gonna bring the hands forward and we're gonna do little quarter squats at about medium pace again. So really warming up the glutes and make sure the bum muscles are working, give them a tap and making sure the quads are working. And also we're warming up the ankle joints, the knee joints, like medium paced squats up and down. You should feel the burn starting to kick in. Three, two, one, and change sides, well done. Let's go, quarter, quarter squats, medium pace. Relax the shoulders. Tap the right bum, make sure those glutes are waking up. So almost there, three, two, one. And again, back onto, this time jogging on the spot. We're going into that run ready pace now, okay? Relaxing those shoulders. Again, we're gonna get the hips and the torso warm. So we're gonna get some twists. I'll show the exercise whilst you keep jogging on the spot. I'm gonna drive the left knee and twist and look over the left hip. Drive the right knee, twist with the torso. So you're getting that torso twist. Okay, so get ready. And let's go, left knee drive, right knee drive. Couple of steps in between every time. Heart rate is picking up. Blood's pumping around the body. We're getting run ready. We've got our reason for running. Well done, keep breathing. Again, as we're going into that run ready pace, we can really start focusing on what rhythm of breathing we're gonna take into our run. Okay, and then just back onto jogging on the spot. Okay, we're gonna pick up the knees a little bit for 10 seconds and then we are ready to go for our run. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just a little bit picking those knees up, keep your posture nice and tall, and then we are ready for running, okay? So we're getting ready. In three, two, one, and let's go. So picking those knees up a little bit, making sure toes and balls of the feet are pushing into the floor. We're nearly there, three, two, 
one and time shake it out well done make sure we are now ready to, for well, we are ready for a run we're run ready make sure you now go for your run within the next minute or two okay so maybe leave the comment when you get back in after your run or just put a thumbs up let me know in the video put, put thanks for the video and i shall see you in the next video well done enjoy your run